Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Star Stable Online. And we are here with Carolina Moon Forest, who is very nice and has the most adorable shirt ever. And she caught me while we're over here talking to Alex. So last time, you guys, we were worried that the butler may have had something to do with Linda's disappearance because when we called the number that had texted her, the butler was the one who answered. And he just drove off his car into a mountain last time, like right there, that mountain. And that was pretty exciting. So we're going to see what Alex wants us to do today. We also have some horseshoes that we need to take down to Conrad and there's going to be a championship race in about half an hour so we might catch that and do like a special bonus episode with the race I'm not sure we'll have to see what time it's going to start in you know what I need to run some errands but here's a really good recording machine why don't you ride to the castle and wait until the crying starts if it does I mean and try to get it on tape then we can listen to it together and decide whose voice it is Alex Honestly, I think it'd be more important to like actually help anybody who's crying, but I'm willing to do this too. Cry to me. What a creepy sounding quest. All right. Wow. Wow. I really hope we'll be able to take care of whoever is crying. Oh my gosh. And look at this. I've seen more people over the last few days manage to get their horses into interesting places than I ever have before. So it's really kind of cool to see. All right, then I'm going to go ahead. Oh, and we've got some friend request. Westheart. Nice last name. I like it. And let's give Melanie Warrior a good... You're not Melanie Warrior. <laughs> Rose Stone. I'm so sorry, Rose Stone. I just got so used to having Melanie Warrior way back when. Let's give her a good drink. And then we're going to go and record the crying, as creepy as that sounds, for Alex. And we'll see if we can swing by Conrad's place and drop off these horseshoes so that I can increase the reputation that we have with Silverglade Manor in the hopes, fingers crossed, of eventually being able to get to the point where they'll let me in the gardening club, which would be awesome. I want to do the gardening with them. All right, let's go. All right, we're out of here. And Rosestone is getting so much faster. We've been taking her out on several races. In fact, I wonder... Mm, well, the, the race for Silverglade Manor isn't on this side, at least easily accessible. But we'll pick up a race or two if we can today, because I would love to race her some more and hopefully eventually get her up to level 15. And I mean, if there is going to be a championship race soon, we'll just see if we happen to bump into it at the right time. All right, come on, Rosestone. So we are off to the castle, Silverglade Manor, and we're going to see if we can record the creepy crying. And I really, like, does everybody think it's just a ghost? Because I don't really care whose voice it is, Alex. Whoever it is, I, I would like to help them. <laughs> Plus, how would I know if it's Alex's voice? Maybe, or, or if it's uh, Linda's voice. Maybe Alex thinks it's a ghost, too, and she just wants to have, like, the recording. We're not, we're suddenly ghost hunters. Somehow this happened. All right, so let's come up here. There we go. All right, Rose Stone, let's do this. We're going to come on over and we're going to record the creepy crying. And hopefully we can help whoever's here. I don't hear anyone. I still don't hear anyone. Okay. Well, we'll have to see what happens. I didn't hear anybody crying. But we'll take this back to Alex and hopefully she'll be able to do something with it. And then we should also head down. Let's go this direction because I do also want to head back over to Conrad and drop off those horseshoes. And then while we're running around, we might see more alerts for when the championship race will begin. And I might participate in it. I would love to have one of those little, like, the little um, ribbons that Rose Stone could start wearing. And I think she'd be very proud to be able to participate too. I just don't know how hard it would be to get them. But you know what? You never know until you try. All right, let's come on over. Hello, Loretta. And we also have been meaning to do this quest with Loretta to help set up the party, the haunted birthday party that she wants to have for Tan. You've talked to Tan, right? Okay, yep. And then she wants us to set up the surprise haunted birthday party. So we're going to go ahead and help her out a little bit. You'll help? Awesome. This is going to be the best party ever. So nice of you to help me. I've done tons of shopping for the party and everything is nearly ready now. We're just missing a ghost that Taylor Donald was going to sew. 
I probably wouldn't. Ha I probably would have brought something online instead. It feels uh, feels safer. But Justin had talked about how great he is, and if Justin says so, it must be true. Loretta, I have some bad news about where Justin is. Donald promised me he'd post my order when he'd finished, but I haven't gotten any package yet. I hope it hasn't hasn't gotten stuck somewhere on the way. Can you ride over to Silverglade Village and ask Derek if he's put the package over yet? Then I don't have to wait for the post. Awesome. All right. Well, that's easy to do because rent a ghost. Oh my gosh. A lot of stuff to do with ghosts. We're messing with the keepers of Aideen. We are like recording ghostly, ghostly crying sounds. Oh gosh, so many people. So many boulders. Rosto, you're taking the corner so much sharper now that you're faster. So let's go ahead and ride on down. And then we'll see if Conrad, who also is one of the keepers of Aideen, has to do with sort of ghostly auras. See, so starts in 15 minutes. Hmm. Valdel? Hmm. Do I know how to get to Valdel? Hmm. Hang on a second, Rosestone. Valdel, 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 Valdel. Um, forgotten Fields. I wonder why that's not ringing any bells for me. Oh, it's all the way over here? Yeah, maybe we won't be able to get to that one. <laughs> That's okay, but I'll keep an eye out in the future for um, more of those championships that we can try to run. So we'll have a very special episode when we run our first championship. Mm -hmm. What are we here? I see. Those stable girls are such nature lovers. Everything must be recycled. It's rather sweet, I guess. I'll shape them up for you. All right, good. So we just completed that. Broken horseshoes wasn't bad whatsoever. And now we need to head back into... Ooh, actually. <gasps> yes! I love it when we can just do a pickup and immediately jump back to where we need to report in for our quest. It's so convenient. Alex! Alex, I have evidence! Alright, so I have the recording. Did you hear anything? Got it on tape? Okay, let me listen to this. That's Linda's voice. Yes, I'm sure of it. Godfrey must be keeping her locked in there for some reason. You need to confront the Baroness with this. She has to let us in the castle. The Baroness is outside the vineyard. Please ride there and talk to her. Well, thankfully I can see her from here. So we've got this. Baroness! Baroness, I have bad news! Excuse me? I'm not letting anybody in. You don't know what you're talking about, little girl. What happens in the castle is none of your business. You should learn to keep your little worries to yourself, or else something unfortunate may happen to you, too. <gasps> but, Baroness, I trusted you! You have a beautiful garden! That means you won my trust! This can't be happening! Oh my goodness! Alex! Alex, I'm so sad! No, Alex, why? I don't want to wait another day, Alex! We don't have time! I think it's time for you to undertake a journey and get to know the druids of the island. Be prepared to travel tomorrow. I will see you here then. Oh my goodness, Alex, why are you dragging things out like this on me? Oh no. All right, well, let's go talk to Derek, I suppose. So we'll go speak with Derek. And then I might have to do another night's sleep, which will be kind of a fooey. But I don't want to wait. I want to continue with the quest. And I guess that's what star coins are for. All right, let's go ahead and run down here. But we do have a few things that we need to do in Silverglade anyway. We might try running a race or two just to sort of stretch Rosestone's legs. Maybe the middle of the hill race. We haven't run that for a long time now. So we'll look into that and then I'll see if there's going to be any races that are going to occur closer than Valdel because that's really far away. We haven't even unlocked any of the quests over there yet. So basically I'm a complete stranger to the uh, Fir Grove and the Valdel Lake area as a whole. What is this? A Sophie. Hmm. Now that's interesting. Well, we'll see about that. I kind of, you know what? Maybe we'll go talk to Sophie today. So we'll go see what Sophie is doing so deep in the woods and what she has to say. All right, and there's the vet who took good care of Rose Stone so long ago. And we're going to go and talk to the tailor. And I'm pretty sure he's right over here. All right. Nope, wait, we don't need to talk to the tailor. We need to talk to the guy running the post. Do -do -do. Derek! Hey, Derek! Whoa, hey, Saga. Awesome you came. I'm just about to have a total crisis here. What? Whew. How lucky it was that you came, Saga. I'm guessing you're here to pick up Loretta's order. Ugh, I imagine her reaction if she were here now. You have to promise not to tell her anything, but there's been a ton of problems. First, the delivery guy was delayed. Then he had an accident on the way here. One of the wheels came off, and most of his goods in the car fell out. 
You don't have to worry, Saga. Nobody got hurt, but the delivery guy had to take the car to get it fixed. The fabric Donald was going to use for Loretta's order is presumably laying somewhere along the road. I would have gathered up all the parcels, but I couldn't leave the post office unattended. I managed to gather up quite a few, but not all of them. Would you be able to help me gather up the parcels? Thanks. If we get it done quickly, nobody needs to know anything. All right, I'm on this. I won't say a word. This is actually kind of adorable. And we're going to come over. All right. And let's see, let's slow down. And we're gonna collect these packages and give them back to Derek. So that should be helpful. I love helping people and I love that that's mostly what you end up doing in this beautiful island, is you bond with your horse and you ride around and you're friendly with people and you investigate mysterious disappearances of innocent young girls. <laughs> okay, so maybe it's not always like sugar-coated sweetness. Um, now that I think about it, but we do manage to get quite a bit done. Alright, let's see. There's some parcels over here. Puppy Luck is such a cute name. <gasps> Molly Puppy Luck, I totally approve of your name. It's adorable. Is that just, is it me or is that glowing? Was that glowing before? Do the stones start glowing the more reputation you have? Whoops, okay. Oh, oh gotta slow down. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Alright, and then let's see. I missed a package somewhere back here. And I can be like, okay, uh, da 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 da. Hello, questing right now, but nice to meet you. All right, and let's go ahead and accept. See, you've got to, like I was just saying, you've got to be nice when you run across people. All right, and then, oh, there's a big package hiding over here. Thistle Down would probably be so happy if I like set him free. Like, okay, Thistle Down, you can have some berries if you go and help find things. That's totally something he'd love. Oh man, Rosestone, that was a good jump. It was my fault. She's very good at the jumping. All right, Derek, I have your packages. Thanks so much, Saga. Whew. Now I can breathe again. Just a sec, I'll just... Okay, and there we go. I had to wrap the fabric up in a new parcel as the old one was pretty much a big hole. Uh, picked up a pretty big hole. Just gotta keep our fingers crossed that the fabric wasn't damaged. Could you take this parcel to Donald? Thanks, hope he's not too, too upset it's late. Wow. That's going to be like a lot of work for everybody involved because Donald hasn't even made the ghost. But how hard could it be to make a ghost outfit? No, like I, <clears throat> I said nothing, Donald. I said nothing. Hey, Saga, you'll never guess how much bad luck I've had. A package for me? <laughs> Thanks. I thought my light fabric order was gone forever. Could barely manage to think about all the sad and disappointed customers I'd get. <sighs> but the fabric is here now, so it won't matter. So it doesn't matter anyway. I had needles before, but no fabric. And now when I have fabric, I can't find my needles. The blacksmith? Like he has the time to help me fix new needles. I think he has more important things to do than help me. And how would I even get there? I, c I can barely be outside without getting sunstroke, break my legs, or get lost. Oh dear, Donald has some bad luck. I think, is that what Loretta meant when she said it'd be safer to order online? I think I'm beginning to understand what she meant by that. Or maybe she just meant quality? I'm not sure. It's hard to tell with Loretta sometimes. It's not like I can forbid you asking him, but you know the road to Moreland is very dangerous, right? It's a wonder anyone survives without tripping over all the stones and falling to their death. You know what? I, he kind of has a little bit of a point... When you think about all the boulders and the fact that our poor Rose Stone nearly plummeted to herself right off when we were running over there a second ago. But it's an easy ride. We'll be over there in no time. We'll be able to speak with the blacksmith yet again. We've had a very busy day running back and forth between Moreland and here. And then who else do we need to talk to? So we're off to go speak to the blacksmith again. Maybe we'll race around with Tan or Josh really quickly or even Loretta. Just to get that done. Ugh, I can't see. There we go. And then Alex doesn't want anything to do with us for the rest of the day. No idea how to reach Eddie. I think we have to unlock the um, we have to unlock the iron gates first before we can reach Eddie. And then Sophie, who's disappeared up into the forest, and I would love to go talk with her some more. She is a woman after my own heart, picking up for the adorable little blue birds and red birds that were everywhere. Very cute. All right. Wolf daughter. Man, so many cool names down here. Alright, let's go talk to Conrad and then we'll run a race with Rose Stone to see how much she's improved. I know, right, Rose Stone? I guess the championship race must be going on. That would be really cool to be in. Alright. And Conrad, guess what? I'm back already. How are you doing, my friend? And eh, eh, eh. Hmm. 
Good day to you, Saga. How's my favorite writer today? Sewing needles for Donald, you say? Of course I can make sewing needles. You know you know I can, Saga. It's just that pessimist Donald who thinks the world is against him. Maybe he's related to the clockmaker. <laughs> Before I can help you, I have to finish another task. Would you mind gathering some wood for me in the meantime? We need to heat the fire properly to be able to make the best sewing needles. Thanks so much, Saga. All right, so usual. We're gonna go ahead and gather up some firewood for him. All right, so let's see, there's some pieces there. Just five firewood pieces, not bad. Getting a chance to just wander around in the forest for a minute, don't mind if I do. All right, let's see, ah, there's some more pieces, lots of pieces down here. <laughs> Easy rose stone, that was not a very big, that was not a very big, like, fall. You're okay, my dear. All right, there's some here, there's some here. And there's, there's pieces all over the place, oh my goodness. All right, let's run back over. Oh, yeah, there's really just pieces everywhere. All right, Conrad, here you go. Thanks for gathering the firewood for me. Now we've got enough to get down to business. Now I'm ready, whoops. In order to make sewing needles of the highest quality, I would need your help. Can you help me? Thanks. Can you ride down to the beach and see if you can find any dark Yorvian amber? If I melt that together with the ore, I can create one of the most durable materials there is. Oh my gosh. Loretta, little did you know, little did you know just how much work would go into preparing for Tan's birthday party. Uh, and speaking of Tan, all right, really quickly, let's go ahead and ride the race and see how we do with Tan. She doesn't even know that we've got this big uh, nothing, Tan. Big birthday party that we're planning for you, Tan. Ha! Alright, so let's go ahead and run the race. Very important to keep Rose Stone constantly active and leveling up. Okay, go, 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 go. Alright, so what was our last best score? 46 seconds. Ah, I'm not wearing my, my good shirt. I need to stop having to switch shirts in the middle of the race because it's very distracting. Go, Rose Stone, go! Go, Rose Stone, go! All right, I've got to start taking the the corner cuts a little faster too. To get this done, go rose stone, go rose stone. We've got this rose stone. Move, 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 move. All right, come on. There and sharp corner, and there we go. You really do start learning how to like veer around it as quickly as possible. And all right, new high score, boom, personal best. And there's some people who can take this almost 10 seconds faster than that. That is amazing to me. All right, slow down. Well done, Saga. All right, so she's happy. And now we're going to head over to the beach. And I need to see the little old lady who we haven't seen in so long. And I always forget her name and I feel so bad because she's so sweet. And I really do love her. All right, so let's go see where she is. Oh, that's so pretty when you can just guide your horse like that. <gasps> you guys, we're about to level up to level 10. Oh, that's going to be so exciting. Whoa, that's a fence. <laughs> so what is your name again? Miss Holdsworth. That's right. I wanted to remember her name because Miss Holdsworth has one of the cutest houses I've ever seen. She and the hermit, the people, the old people in the like towns around Yorovic have some of the absolute best homes. Also, why can I not collect this amber up like on my own? I would love being able to collect this amber up just anytime I wanted because I love amber. Fun fact, dark moss amber is actually my favorite type of amber and I have a lot of jewelry that is focused on dark moss amber. All right, we're gonna run this way. All right, hang on, hang on. All right, easy, Rose Stone. Is he eating needles? <laughs> I hope not, that's a very bad thing. Where does this take us? Oh, that was like a little frog sound. Oh my goodness, Rose Stone, that was, okay. Rose Stone, I am so sorry. I was thinking, where does this take us? And I had no idea, Rose Stone. Oh my gosh. Rose Stone, oh my gosh. Yeah, apparently that takes us there. Okay, now I know. Wow, and there's that bridge we built. That was one of the very first like big quests we ever did here. So it's sort of surreal and fun to look back at that bridge and just see how far we've come as a result. Can I jump this? <gasps> I can jump over that fence. I had no idea. That makes life so much easier. All right, so that's done. Let's take this back to Conrad. 
And it's really fun. I get what you guys mean now when you're like, oh, I really love seeing people do the early quest. It reminds me of my adventures there. And I'm beginning to really understand what you mean. Because already I'm nostalgic about Moorland, even though even though we haven't been doing Star Stable that long. This is great, Saga. Just what we need for Donald's sewing needles. All right, I'm almost leveled up. I'm almost leveled up. Or I thought I was. No, it's just my health. Oh, I get so excited about that. Uh, uh, oh, I need to climb off my horse. All right, Thistledown, you, you take care. Just a second now. I have to come over here and help Conrad. All right, Conrad. Here we go. Now we have everything and we can start with the sewing needles. My mixing ore with amber is very difficult and time consuming. It's enough to lose concentration for just a moment and you have to start all over again. I'll have to complete I'll have to have complete focus while forging the needles so they'll be perfect. So it would be great if you could assist me. Thanks so much. I'll tell you what you have to do. Just listen carefully to ev uh just listen carefully. Everything is going to turn out great. Are you ready? Oh boy. Uh, lethargy, leth lethargy, which can destroy everything. Okay. All right. Oh boy. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, Conrad. <clears throat> Fetch some wood. Oh, oh my gosh. So I have to like just start moving. Okay. There, I know there is wood over here. I know. Wait. Isn't there wood right here? Wait. No. Was it wood? No. Okay, <laughs> I feel so silly. He says fetch some wood and I like, turn around and run for the forest to get like wood from the forest. No, I think he means like fetch wood here. Okay, all right. We need to have complete focus. All right, and I need to find the wood. Okay, like this wood? I think this wood. All right, I'm ready. I've got this, Conrad. Okay, got it. Set the wood on the fire. Okay, firewood. Okay. Got it. Got me a special little toolbox. Okay, got it. Can you hand me the hammer? Okay. Uh, there it is. Uh, put the needle in the water bucket beside me. What needle? Is this a needle? Unfinished needle. Water bucket. Okay. There we go. Fetch some wood. Ah, Conrad. All right. Put the wood on the fire. Okay. Now then you look as cool down, get it out of the water bucket. Roaststone, I love you! I put you in the wrong spot for this! Mm. Definitely put you in the wrong spot for this. Give you the needle. Phew! Was that everything? Thanks so much for helping out, Saga. Look how beautifully the needles turned out. Couldn't have done it without your help. Phew! Oh my gosh, and then everybody just like reappears. Conrad, jeez, you had me really having to work to help out with those needles, you know, sir. Alright, so anything else? Are we all done? Okay. Ah! Hang on, I'm gonna get away from everybody and come over here so I can see Conrad better. Um, man, he's he's kind of, he's a little bit of a big man, isn't he? All right. There, have you seen, have you ever seen such well-made needles? I wouldn't think so. If Donald isn't satisfied with this, I'll eat my own tools. Haha, <laughs> you don't have to look so horrified, Sanka. Of course, I'm only kidding around. Could you take these to Donald so that he continue, can continue with his orders? Thanks, I hope you have a nice day. Also, Roaststone's nose, my little Roaststone. All right, so there we go, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to whip over there and take Donald these tools so that he is ready to go. And then I guess we'll just continue working on Loretta's quest kind of on the sidelines while we're also still working with Alex and keeping so many different things going at the same time so that we can hopefully level up, we can discover things, we can help people have happy birthday parties, we'll be able to free Linda. I'm really, I'm feeling a bit of betrayal because I thought the Baroness was amazing. How can you have such a gorgeous garden and not be a good person? You know what I mean? And apparently she's locking up her stable hand girls in... Godfrey is helping her. It was it wasn't just the butler who did it. It was the Baroness who did it too And I feel betrayed nobody with that pretty garden should betray me like so <sighs> And I'll have to see if I still want to make Silverglade Manor my home my home stable I might take my my home stable elsewhere at this rate maybe over to South Hoof if I could I don't think they have one where you can have like a home stable at South Hoof just yet But if I could I would all right, and we're almost over to Donald Ah, uh, Thistledown, it's so good to have him back. I know that Poppy is adorable as a little seal and I would love to collect up all the pets you can possibly have in Horsehaven, but Thistledown is truly my buddy. Thistledown and Roaststone. 
All right, and here we are. Donald, I've got your package. Oh my, new needles? Who'd have thought? Thanks so much. Just as well I'll get uh just as well I'll get started now that I have not uh not that I'll ever get finished. Come back tomorrow and we can see if I'm finished then. All right, so Donald also needs us to come back tomorrow. So we will come back another day. We'll see how Donald is doing. We'll see how Alex is doing. And I kind of want to see how Sophie is doing off in the forest too. So there's definitely a lot to do. And I will see you guys next time when we'll continue exploring, adventuring, meeting friends and people. Speaking of friends, Aravella Ice Cobbler. So we will continue adventuring. And I swear the rocks are starting to glow. And there's just... It's amazing how big the world is and how much of it is there there is to explore. But at the same time, like you start really becoming familiar with different areas and that's a really fun feeling. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.